Hey, this is Aaron Richardson. I run Ragnar Forge. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and my uh, studio. So, I started blacksmithing about uh, 16 years ago when I was 14 uh, at a living history park. I volunteered there for a couple of summers. And uh, after that, I set up my own forge and anvil in my parents' garage and kind of tinkered around with it uh, for several years. Uh, then when I was 22, I was hired back at that Living History Park as one of their uh, seasonal blacksmiths. I worked there for about uh, six years and then I've been running uh, this shop here uh, full-time as a production um, studio, blacksmith studio, uh, for about two and a half years. So this shop was built in uh, 1895 uh, by uh, Jesse Wilbur. And then he ran it until about 1950, and then his son ran it until about 1970. Then when his son retired, he just shut the doors and left, and left everything in the shop. So there's a bunch of original tools and equipment still in here. Uh, when we go inside, I'll show you some of that. So let's go look at that right now. Great, so right here, I have uh, uh, Peter Wright Anvil, and uh, I know from some of the pictures that I've got, of uh, Jesse working in here, that this is Jesse's workstation, um, his forge and his anvil. Now this forge isn't super deep, uh, I can work with pieces uh, about 16 inches long um, here in this fire before I run out of space to heat it up anymore. Uh, I do have another forge in here though that lets me work with some longer pieces. So we'll just take a quick look at some of the other uh, original pieces over here. Uh, everything over here on the wall um, is stuff that uh, that was uh, here when uh, they started doing the restoration um, for me to run the shop and then uh, we can swing around uh, this way all these uh, things up here as well as the things on the ceiling are original uh, and then a couple of the tools here are original the drill press is original um, and then the bandsaw and the, the chop saw are mine uh, and this little anvil is mine as well now, a couple of the really cool pieces over here I'll show you really quick. One of them is this cane. And uh, this belonged to Jesse Wilbur. We've got pictures of him walking with it and using it. Um, you know, just still in here uh, when we started uh, working in the shop. Another one of my favorite things is a brand that we think belonged to Jesse. And uh, his name was, uh, you know, it was J.M. Wilbur. J.M.W. was his initials. And so we've got this uh, brand here. One of the coolest things to me about this brand, though, is that it was a broken pair of tongs that was then just modified into the handle for the brand. So let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the other workstation really quick. All right, so we know that this was Glenn's workstation, so uh, he was a little bit shorter than his dad, so the forge and the anvil are both a little bit lower. Uh, this forge, though, the fire pot is uh, up here in the front, and so that lets me put in a piece as, pretty much as long as I want to uh, in here when I'm running this forge. Now, a couple of the cool original things over here in this part of the shop. Uh, my favorite's got to be the power hammer. So. It's a little giant 50 pound power hammer and uh, they actually inscribed on the concrete base when they put this here in the shop. It was installed February 1st, 1938. So it runs, it works, I use it, it's really great. Uh, another one of the cool things over here is the bellows. So uh, this works, doesn't have any problems, it's not hooked up to anything right now. Uh, eventually I'll get some piping built and I'll use it to run uh, Glenn's forge over here, but uh, it is very cool, uh, in very good shape. A um, couple other things we'll pan around over here. Uh, we've got uh, my uh, heat treating oven, just a toaster oven. Uh, I've been really happy with this. It actually uh, is, is very uh, close with the temperature, uh, a lot closer than a lot of uh, other uh, toaster ovens I've used. So. Uh, this desk is one of the original pieces. Then we'll swing over here. This work bench is another one of the original pieces. Um, and uh, we can see here, uh, it's got an original post vise here. 
Well, one of the great things, uh, this floor is original as well. And uh, when they were doing the restoration here, a couple years before I started uh, running my studio out of here, is uh, they, they had to pull up the floor because the foundation was coming in under the walls, kind of rolling in. Um, the foundation is just stones. And so they numbered each floorboard, pulled them up, and then uh, poured concrete to reinforce the foundation. And then they brought the boards back and put them in just as they were. And so you can see right here where this uh, post vise meets the floor, there's actually a hole that was there originally to accept the, the foot of that post vise. Um, and so the desk and the post vise and the floor are all in the original positions even after the restoration. So we'll uh, switch over to uh, another workstation now. So most of the work that I do is hardware uh, for homes and cabins, but uh, I also, uh, I'd like to do a little bit with knives. I haven't done a lot yet. Um, I just took a class last fall from the American Bladesmith Society, uh, their intro to uh, knife making class. So I've got some tools to uh, do that. Hopefully I'll be able to use them a little bit more. Uh, I've got a little mill here I use for handle making. And uh, this is my two by 72 uh, belt grinder. Um, and they're on here. This is an original desk again, original workbench. Um, here set up, uh, you know, just like it was. So if we pan around this way a little bit, I'll show you um, that set of drawers and that work table is also original. Um, Glenn, while he was running the shop here, he also ran an auto repair shop and a gas station. And so we've got some of the signs here from that. So uh, we do have some other signs in here as well. But uh, this Dayton Tires and uh, uh, over here, there's a green Quaker State motor oil sign. Those are original to the shop as well. And then the Glen Wil Wilbur, Eden, Utah sign uh, was about a mile down the road. So uh, I've got a little display case. I have some of my stuff in. I'll show you that next. The last area of the shop, I've got a little display table I set up. It's not original to the shop, but uh, um, like I said, I do most of my work as hardware uh, for homes and cabins, door handles, hinges, latches, bolts, that type of thing. Um, when I have time, I like to do other things. So one of my favorite things to do is uh, little Lego hammers and swords. Uh, when I bring my kids up, I try to show them other stuff, but they just want to play with the Lego hammers and swords and, uh, and a little Lego blacksmith shop I've got set up. But uh, I do some historical pieces. Uh, I do pieces uh, tomahawks and axes, uh, cooking utensils, puzzles, um, all sorts of, uh, of other things. I'm not really a, a farrier, so I don't do horseshoes or um, anything like that. Um, I have done some armor pieces. I've got one over here. Uh, I'm working on a couple of shields at the moment. Um, I do have a sink over here in the corner. Uh, that's a pretty nice feature. It's something that we've added but uh, it actually came out of uh, an early um, 1920s hotel in uh, downtown Ogden. Um, and then we'll swing around and I'll show you the doors. So the doors, the front doors here are actually in another original piece. So we had, uh, so there were some pictures of uh, Jesse Wilbur in here in the shop. Um, right up there, there's a picture of him as a young man up on the top. And then a couple of pictures of him as he's older um, in a newspaper article and uh, him with his wife. Um, the pinup girls up here are actually original to the shop as well. There's a little blue one up there. I've, uh, I've got a blown up bigger copy just so we can make it out a little easier. And uh, then there's this white and, and gray one over here. That's a picture of Jesse, not a pinup girl. But here's the pinup girl right here. So uh, I don't remember what the dates on these are. They're pretty early, uh, but they were here in the shop. Um, there's just so much history here in the shop. It's really a fantastic place to work. I hope to be able to show you guys more of uh, what's in here and what I do. Um, I don't claim to be the, the best or have the right way to do any of these things, but uh, you know, it's kind of a learning process. I'm always learning and I'm happy to share uh, what I'm learning with, uh, with other people, hopefully be able to help you out. So if you uh, watch out for these videos, I'm going to try and uh, upload one every Saturday. And uh, thanks for watching. Happy forging.